Today I want to introduce you to a few more elements of the periodic table of the elements. Ooh, I just made it funny. The first thing that we know is that, as we learned, the periodic table is arranged by atomic number. So hydrogen with one proton is first, and then go across the row. Helium has two, it's second. Then lithium, beryllium. This is just an example, skip that. Boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine's nine, neon's ten, etc. Um, a couple of places that look like it's kind of breaking the rules down here, 57, it looks like the you kind of skip from 56 to 72 right here. And there's a blank here that looks like, hey, what the, what's that? Well, what they've done is they've taken this entire series here and it should go there for reasons that we'll learn during the electron chapter. We're not quite there yet. There are reasons for all these things. We're not going to get into all that. Um, and then, so if you get to element number 57, for example, you would use lanthanum. And if you did uh, 62, you would come down here and you'd look for samarium. Same with the actinide series that happens right below it. So those are a little confusing to some people at first. That's what those are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk you through some of the different parts of the periodic table. Um, first of all, <clears throat> anything that is horizontal, we call those rows, or we call them periods. Um, either word is fine. If we are going vertical, those have lots of uh, names. We call them col columns. We call them families, we call them groups, so those are all kind of synonyms. So this is a group, 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 family, column, whatever. The numbers uh, of the columns also, there's a couple of different ways to number them. Just to keep things clear, we'll go ahead and when I refer to them I'll just talk about the number on the left. We won't deal with the Roman numeral. So if I mean talk about group 6, I'm talking about the chromium group. If I talk about group 2, that's the beryllium group, etc. But there are some names, a lot of the families, uh, as we'll see later, these elements are grouped by column by similarities. So if two things are in the same column, if they're in the same family, they have similarities. So there are ways in which lithium and potassium are similar. There are ways in which chlorine and bromine are similar. And so they're put into the same group. So each of these groups or families has a special name. Uh, not all of them do, but a lot of them do. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell you some of the special names. This group one, group one, uh, and since I don't have room on this paper, I'll kind of put this over there. If you can squeeze it onto your paper, that's fine. This group one, I can write a little bigger if I do it this way. Those are called the alkali metals. They're all metals. And group two over here, those are called the uh, alkaline earth metals. So it turns out to be exactly the same first part. It looks like you're just saying alkali metals again. And like I said, these things have similarities. Um, Would the teacher <coughs> that I have after school detention duty mm -hmm, please call mm -hmm. the office? Yeah, do that, please. <coughs> Group 1 is plus 1. Uh, as you learned on your ions, these all have plus 1 charges, and that's one of the similarities. The alkaline earth metals, they all have, of course, a plus two charge. The individual families in three through 12, and actually in three through 15, don't even have special names that I know of. Group 16 has a name that is not used very often, but if you want to go, like, be all hardcore and represent, you can show off your mad skills and talk about how these are the calcogens. Justin Moore, please come to the office. Justin Moore, please come to the office. Those announcements are really helpful when I'm doing this. Um, then the group 17, they have their own name as well. These are, 
uh, called, and this is one that comes up a lot, these are called the halogens, H-A-L-O-G-E-N-S, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, that whole group there. And this last group is called <coughs> the noble gases. Sometimes they're referred to as the inert gases, I-N-E-R-T, so-called because they don't really uh, react with anything. So, this, uh, so those are some of the common family names. Um, then there are a couple of other sections that you need to know about. This uh, big shorty section, the kind I kind of refer to as the shorties, those are called the transition elements, but since they're all metals, I call them the transition metals. Okay, and then uh, these groups down here, the lanthanide series and the actinide series, those uh, collectively are all called the uh, both groups. Both of those are known as the together the rare earth metals. And the reason that they're rare is because they just are rare. They, you don't find a lot of them on earth. <clears throat> In fact, a lot of these you would not find on earth. Promethium, Neptunium, Plutonium. Uh, these things you don't find on earth. So why are they elements? Well, because we made them. We'll see how we make them in a later chapter. Anything that has sort of the clear, transparent uh, symbol on this chart would be man-made. So, technetium, uh, rutherfordium, any of these others. The solid ones you can find on Earth. So, uranium you can find on Earth, but it's rare. Plutonium you can't. Well, you can because we've made it, but other than that, you can't. Um, finally, these last four columns up here that don't have their own special name. We just kind of, if I want to talk about that group, you just call it by the top element. You would refer to this group. You would say indium and gallium and aluminum are in the boron group, and that lead and tin are in the carbon group, and that this is the nitrogen group. Often this is just called the oxygen group. Most people don't aren't familiar with the word calcogens because they're not all cool like us. And so those are some of the general breakdowns of what the different parts of the periodic table are called in the different sections.